So the next speaker, Yasin Madid. All right. So uh, in consciousness research, usually when we want to create a functional uh, connected brain network, what we do is we take our data, uh, we do a Hilbert and get the phase out so we can calculate something like a what if phase index, for instance, and then we can get, we can get a functional connected network. Or what we can do is take the amplitude and calculate something like AC, and we get another kind of network. But here, what we have is two different kind of network which uh, are actually coming from the, exactly the same signal, which are often u only used uh, analyzing isolation. So in our research, what we did is we took those network and we analyzed the performance in uh, decoding uh, the conscious uh, state using a uh, machine learning classifier. So what we did, we uh, took data from healthy participants uh, undergoing anesthesia. Uh, so with the two state of interest here is uh, deep unconsciousness and uh, five minutes before they recover, so a light state of unconsciousness. And we feed that data set uh, into our machine learning pipeline where we calculate AC and wet API and uh, bunch of other feature which we then uh, give to a linear super vector machine and we analyze the performance of the linear super vector machine. So the result, of, the result for the functional connectivity analysis, which is the mean and standard deviation of the global connectivity, is that uh, uh, amplitude-based graph are better at detecting deep stage of unconsciousness and phase-based graph are better at detecting uh, light stage of unconsciousness. And if we look at the feature weights now, uh, we can see that we see different patterns, uh, even though they come from the same signal, uh, in both modality and in both states. So if we now augment this feature set with a uh, more fine-grained uh, feature of uh, graph uh, theory, we can see that uh, the amplitude-based graph only get better at detecting the deep stage of unconsciousness, and the phase-based graph only get better at detecting the light stage of unconsciousness. So what this tells us, uh, this hint toward a dynamic state of unconsciousness where um, the Amplitude and phase-based uh, graph hold different information at different time. So if you want to learn more about this, you can see me on poster 21. <laughs>